Oh, what's up guys? This is the Royal Friend and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Portugal. And in, and in this episode we are withstanding a Spanish attack on Trinidad and Tobago. And we are going to destroy them because I don't think they're going to be able to stand up to our firepower. So let's take them out. But in general, I think this campaign's going pretty well. We might have a... A bit of a delicate situation in Europe, might have a bit of a delicate situation in the colonies, but we've got a plan. So, get my guns here, get my militia inside the house. That can be used to anchor our front line. Deploy my artillery and limbered. How it's is behind the line. Let's get ready to deploy three militia on the left. Armed citizenry can hold that. The town hall. Pikemen are going to rush to wherever the enemy are massing. I think that's going to be it. But it looks like I can run my infantrymen out. The only concern is going to be the uh, the native bowmen because they might cause some potential issues but we've come on give me noise we've managed to knock out one of their gun teams oh no we haven't we knocked our trading team they'd already unlimited this is my howitzers now raining down fire speed up time speed up yeah speed time up the native bowmen have exposed themselves. There's a, also a handful more bowmen. What I'm going to want to do is generally push my men up and wear all this. Okay, right. I don't know why I'm not getting. I don't. Why did it do this? I do not change these things. You are going to focus the native bone auxiliary because they are dangerous. Okay, no, you're not. You're going to. You're going to. You are going to come back this way. I want to mass my firepower against these bowmen and use my canister shot against them. So I'm aware that their bows are actually quite damaging. So if you want to kill them quicker, we need to hit them with canister shots. You men out. Keep blasting them with canister. It should eventually trickle them down. You're aiming at units in the field, you are. You may not really doing much inside the town. But I want my pikemen to break this bowman unit on the left flank. So then I can wrap around and really start to do some damage. You aim at the colonial militia in the centre. You both of these units can line up against that bowman. They're trying to pick new targets. Now the 6th regiment can fire. Do some damage. Pokemon charge them so my militia can abandon the fight. See, they're shaken, but that's because they're upset and they're receiving fire. But now they're in combat. Oh, 
and you might go give them some cover. Just a second, everyone. There we go. See, bowmen are dangerous, dangerous creatures. This is why you need to do things like this with your pikes. Wipe them out so they do not come back. Maximize as much firepower against the enemy as you can. I'm not anticipating these fellows beating the native warrior auxiliary. Because they are just native, you know, especially colonial militia, there's not many of them left in general. But it holds them up. All my cannons to keep engaging the native bowman auxiliary. Militia provides some support to the file arm citizenry. Have at you. Bowmen have come back, so my pikemen focus on the bowmen. Ready and fire. Focus on switch to round shot, focus on the militia. Push you men up to also support this last combat. wavering so are theirs and theirs should break before mine good shattered bring my pike and march them towards the general's bodyguard excellent this militia unit go for the guns cease fire the mortars so the citizenry citizenry and this unit of militia the enemy oh yeah see i'm pretty sure it's artillery attacking general's bodyguard that's causing my men to be so upset if my pikeman can walk towards the general you fellows don't want to get involved hits oh go on militia I'm gonna pour a good volley into the enemy this must get this militia unit came back huzzah go after him pikes I mean, they're going to rail before that, so go for the militia instead. Cease fire the artillery. Oh, we're all bouncing shots short. There we go, withdraw, so you don't get hit by too much fire. Hello. Okay, so is this going to be a bit of a... speed up time just because this is gonna potentially be a bit a bit of a chore they've charged my militia but ultimately my pikemen have made a short work of them and we have held our island we will want to reinforce it though because 
Aha! We will want to reinforce it though, because Spain's not going to just give it up. But we need to balance it with the demands of other... other industry spending, military spending, because we still have... I think we've still got a French presence on the Iberian Peninsula. But yeah, let's see how our money... Let's see how our money is looking. Let's see how our... We built some new ports, actually. Let's check our trade situation. See if we can add some extra sources of income. I'm hoping the Mughals do some good work against the Marathas before I'm forced to search for new trade... <laughs> trade relationships. Relationship, relationships. The Barbary State's going to Barbary. I do need to cool 1,000. Oran's still broken. Cool Grands, you're still unhappy with me. So we don't want to repair the school yet. Built tenanted farms. Things are fairly safe for the time being. Let's pick... Vineyard takes all of my cash, or I can upgrade two farms. Or oh, what I might do is actually upgrade one farm and get some reinforcements for this army. As much as I can, at least. 219. Can I get anything here? Oh, I can. Gibraltar can't do anything. The Americas. Well, the Americas is fairly secure for now. In terms of tech, Ivora go for military syllabus to get drill school to get fly by rank, because then we'll be popping. No! They killed my rake! So they're on strike, but they're okay. We're not going to tax them, because that will cause a lot of problems. But they've got a military governor's barracks there. Military governor's encampment, which can be upgraded to a military governor's barracks, which can give us. Um, Pretty decent troops down the line. I'm pretty sure it looks like we've maxed. Ooh. Oh, it's only Morocco that we're not trading with. Ooh, we're trading with them. Good. Hopefully that will uh, buy a certain amount of stability on our southern flank. Oh, God. Sound the recall. <laughs> Everyone converge. Everyone converge on Madrid. And the Dutch have immediately blown up their ships. Uh oh. There might be more Spanish coming. They want empiricism for 2,200. Yes. Let's. 2,200 is a good amount of cash. That's an industry building upgrade right there. Yeah, let's get mini Let's get um, fly by rank done. So I can push into, I can push into France. I can push into more colonies. Just hope the Mughals can stand, which it looks like they're not going to be able to. Sad face. Yeah, you know is proving. I hope I can get to Madrid, actually, from where my army is, to in the east. I think I can. Pretty sure I can. Barbary State's going to keep raiding. Ooh, good amount of cash, actually. So let's keep... Keep Oran broken. To prevent them from recruiting, but 6,000, that's a good amount of cash. So, you men, fall back to Madrid. You men reinforced, and let's try and steal two units of line from the Gibraltar force. <laughs> Can't get in, okay. Okay. Well, they're fairly happy with us, actually. So let's... Gamble repairing the school. Let's 
check our buildings. Ah, so the port in Cadiz has been built, which means more trade. So let's try and get some good trade relationships with our, with our colonial friends. No, you're not interested. Persia is usually quite good. An ally with the Mughal Empire. No, nope, maybe not. Italian states, we're a good Catholic people. Okay, then you're going to offer me military access. Fine. Genoa would be useful because they have quite a strong naval presence. Yes. So their strong navy would be useful in ensuring free flow of trade. Okay, that's pretty good. So what are we up to? Nearly 6,000. Adding some extra trade. It would be used, so useful to have more goods to provide. Which actually I might. Let's get a galleon on the go. Let's spend these 2,000. Actually, we've got... He's a really good agent. It's too bad that they kind of... Well, they're not useless. Catholicize the occupants of Morocco. Agent recruited. Rake in Spain. Yeah, because our rake was immediately executed. So, let's send... One rake up to this front. Because we've got you. You're providing early warning of troops that are going to try and pass down this western road towards our territory. We're not going to upgrade Andorra yet. So for 2,800, I can get iron workshops. Gives us good access to more industrial techs. But so do you. My, circa 2 plus 200 in region wealth. Plus 200 on the nose, plus 8 per turn to town wealth. But that's plus 10 to turn per turn towards town wealth. Ooh. Ah, actually, no, this is quite a good one. Let's get the college. Let's upgrade the college at Lisbon. Because that will improve the rate at which we research technologies, which is super useful. Plus 300. Let's chiefly use it to upgrade troops in Gibraltar first because you guys are all being upgraded anyway <laughs> you just, just get in the city who is actually aha it's a colonial army perfect excellent 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 let's actually try and I suppose what we could do is take everybody except the sloop down to Cadiz or Sandy Bay I should say I'll treat that as my naval base Okay, traits gained, hermit, <laughs> great, pet hermit, increases the cost of building industrial buildings, awesome. God, I hate you. 55 and you might be here for a while. Plus 10% the cost of building farm buildings, plus 5% the cost of building industrial buildings, God, you suck. Well, let's see if that French army comes at us. They might just sit in the north. No, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Very well. You you wanted this. Let's push back this French army. I mean, depending on what our political, what our public relations situation sounds like, we could go on the offensive and chase them down. Very much depends on where we are at in quelling the unrest. No breaches, they have no artillery. Too bad, because pikes can actually be really so useful. Because they can sit here and form pike walls in front of the gates. Oh well. Let's put some of my line infantry here. Skirmish irregulars over the gate. Flank these gates with some militia units. But ultimately, we are just going to want lots of men on the walls to feed into the meat grinder. Something like that.
even small units of militia are still useful. Put them right on the right on the edge. You guys are a bit of a loose end. So I don't want to put them there because they might get attacked. If you guys sit on top of the walls with the irregulars. There we go, they will share it. Awesome. And we have our reinforcements. It's a little bit of terrain that's impacting our ability to enter the field. You guys are potentially at risk. From being intercepted. But apart from that, let's speed up time and watch the slaughter, because they will be they'll be pushed back and then they'll re then they'll re regroup then they'll get pushed back then they'll regroup although realistically you guys are going to want to march this side of the wall and then you might even want to just set up here there's two units routing so we can further concentrate our firepower the name of the game. Yeah, so these militia may get around the flank, but that's where our two reinforcing infantry companies are coming in. There goes a native bowman unit. They're reinforcing... Oh, there they go. They've come back and they've gone stealth. Short range artillery fire. That's them pushed back. I mean, I don't quite know where. You, well, I know, I know where you guys are running. Because they're. That's the exposed area. So I might get my pikemen back here. Oh, you can't maneuver. Not, not in formation. You've scaled the wall. You're going to follow it through. Do you have bayonets? Yes, you do. Very well, they're starting to scale. If I'd fire by rank, it'd be even, even tastier. out of the gate into the hessian line <laughs> they've routed themselves anyway push the cavalry out you men form a block against the 19th That's everyone. So you men block off this route here. Pikemen charge into the night. The second can have a go at the eighth. To be honest, you've all come out. There's plenty of enemy troops that can be annihilated here. Push along the bottom of the wall. Okay, use my actually my general will go after the militia. It's provincial cav head over here. So that unit has returned. So you've got to bear in mind these units haven't lost many men at all, not really. They've 
on hidden. Hey, the gates are open. We'll hit them because that means they can take my centre now. Why is that gate open? Oh well, doesn't matter. Run, gunners! <laughs> They're gonna go after the artillery. Fair enough. I can get more guns where they come from. So we do have another native bone auxiliary units in town try keep moving for all the good it'll do it's an odd one though i don't quite get why why the gate was open Knocked out the artillery that's not stopping them from doing what they want to do anyway. Good for them. Meanwhile, my artillery and my cavalry keep on slaughtering your men. Position to shoot into the. Position to shoot. Onto the bottom of the. Stairs. Yep, native warrior auxiliary trying. But they are going down. So you also want to get inside. I'm not going to let you. Fools. Up. Yeah, now they're shut. How about them? Good. I suppose technically it's the na it's the native bowman. Oh, just a second, everyone. It's the native bowman auxiliary we really want to be after. Bring back the cavalry. Okay, I think I'm going to speed up time. It's only this one unit, the seventh, currently resisting us, and they will break into course. going to continue. We've not got many men to take out. So let's focus on my general attacking the 19th Regiment of Militia. Good. Kill the enemy general. Nice. Heroic victory. Let's see how many men remain on the battlefield. Well, on the campaign map, I should say. 1,713 should be it's a reasonable chunk. Depending on how we're fixed, we're going to sally and take them out. But then they are going to push northeast and potentially raid my happiness building, which means it could cause us some issues um, from a public unrest standpoint. Let's see. Let's, let's just see how we get on. Yeah, that does constrain our movement around now the town. We can push out 
attack them and then come back, but I'd much rather push out, attack them, and then keep pushing them to make sure they're destroyed. But yeah, let's see how much money we get this turn. I still want to keep upgrading... Well, I haven't yet upgraded my industry, but that's one thing I do want to upgrade. With a new college, it gets me new philosophical technologies, which we can research to upgrade our port infrastructure to improve our export drive. Yeah, they just got a whole fleet destroyed from trying to raid the Genones, and then here goes another ship. Oh no, the Savoyards. They're the ones that took them out. 6,200, that's pretty good. So if I were to take my army out of the city... You wouldn't hate us too much. You chaps can, can garrison the city. You men just chase down these guys just to chomp. Yeah, see how far up they are? You're going to stay where you are. I'm going to spend a bunch of cash replenishing you. You men are going to replenish, but 4,300 is pretty good. And I might go for the Royal Observatory to get the increased happiness but also bonuses to number of gentlemen and our technology research rate that's quite a good thing to get especially when you've got universities nearby and that has immediately cancelled out my plans to invest in my economic infrastructure but whatever salamanca is now ready to play so salamanca you can go for improved animal husbandry actually you might go for spinning jenny right off the bat four technologies four turns rather don't upgrade the church school because there's not much point yet. So it's likely to be a vineyard. Or. Actually, can I? Yeah. I can upgrade my ordnance factory to get 12 pounders. I think 12 pounders, it's a. There's a mobility aspect. Well, these are heavy. Well, this, these the demi cannons slow down your army's movement, so you generally want to try and get up to. Uh, 12 pounders quickly which means we can only really upgrade the peasant farms here which i'm reluctant to do because we might just get immediately raided let's build another sloop i can send it out to a trade zone is this fellow uh, still occupied we've still got a good, got a good amount of sugar on the ivory coast how are we ah spain Floyd. no leave him alone I'm looking for easy... Ah, okay, right. So part of the reason why we've not been touched is because you've got a good number of galleons. I do want that position. Spain's convoys going through here. There must be some of them. But then again, this is the, still the Spanish Empire, which we will take out. We might even... Well, if we take out Naples and Cagliari, that will mean the Spanish can't recruit any more ships at all. Okay, let's not build a sloop. Just the galleon's fine. I don't want to do anything with you. Are you ready for another invasion? George Louis Leroux. Okay, two turns. Till we get military syllabus. And then I want to... Ooh, more men on the move. Oh, for God's sake. That's exactly why I didn't want to upgrade that... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to upgrade that farm. And that's why I refuse to generally spend too much money in northeastern Spain. It's so close to the French border when I can't really afford to defend the entire border. All I can really do is... Uh, jump on each army one at a time as they come in. But yeah, the question is, will that small French army attack Madrid? It would be quite bold of them to do so. Maybe I might split my army up, send some troops back to Madrid to garrison, to, to further bolster the garrison. Then send some forces northeast to continue to push against the French. Well, I need to keep making sure Oran is damaged. So they've raided Barcelona. Good amount of money, six and a half thousand. Smashy smash. 
we, did, we could raid, but we, we worked out that raiding doesn't actually provide a huge amount in our favour. 24th Regiment, two Western European mercenaries. So let's take... To be honest, my army in general is a bit knackered. Pull them back. Pull them back, regroup, reorganise, and go back out again. What you want is some more cavalry. You don't need much in the way of infantry. When we get fly by rank, that becomes even more true. Okay. Industry it is. Then hop over to the Americas. Reinforce this army. I do need to come back, build a port here and upgrade Antigua to a military governor's barracks. Because that means we can recruit infantry, line infantry, in theatre, which is huge. There's a galleon. Sail you out to the East Africa. And this force here. Replenish what you can. Because this army I want to build up a little bit to send to attack Cagliari. Take Cagliari because they've got a silver mine here. Naples would also be good, but I would be tempted to then trade that away with an alliance with someone like Rome. We have one more turn to a military syllabus, then we need to build a the next level barracks. <laughs> really? 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 I'm going to fight it just because I don't want to uh, unnecessarily damage my garrison with an auto-resolve. I mean, there, that just goes to show I can't ever really afford to leave Madrid ungarrisoned, not, for, not while France lives. Because look, they've got all of this and they still send three units and go, you know what? We fancy our chances here. We've got a good shot. They don't go, no, nah, does this seem dangerous? Does it look like we might just get slaughtered? Nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, if I also resolved, I'd lose sufficiently more men than I would need to. If I had five by rank, I would just fight them on the open field. There you go, the mortars. Now they've got the 24th Regiment here, which are a special French unit. But they're not particularly... They're not like a, a guard unit. The 4th Regiment would be more than happy... kill some Frenchmen, but at least it goes to show that their ability to threaten our capital is going down. Get my cavalry outside. Let's put another brigade up on the wall here, just to add some extra firepower. Cease the mortifier. The rear gate's open. Is that what you're all going for? Fire it well off, fire it well back on again. There we go. Sometimes this happens. Usually, just turn it off and on again works just fine. General can take care of them, so you guys cease fire. There goes the 25th. The 23rd are going to get another volley. I know, they fired at the 25th. Oh well. Cavalry fall back, regiment of horse go forward. Ah, 
Okay, they're forming square. In which case, their new man fire will back on. The main cavalry force continue to drive. Waters open fire on the 26th. very sceptical as to what damage they'll actually do. Ceasefire. You might have downed a few of my cavalrymen. It will be the end of you. Killed the enemy general. He's been fed into the meat grinder on top of the walls, waiting just to get skewered. Let's just let them keep feeding in. You chaps charge this small foothold it looks like they're getting over here on this side of the wall. Bless them. Firing into my infantry mercenaries. Or well, my provincial cavalry, I should say, not my infantry mercenaries. Team are all fire it well off. Keep attacking the 23rd and more general. <laughs> heroic I, I mean i wouldn't really call it heroic that was quite a foolish attack by the french they're gonna oh, they're gonna go for cartagena yes we need to divide our forces and push again looks like you guys are going to well they're doing something so yeah this is where i want my governor's barracks to be built in antigua Get some line infantry, get some guns, we can be a lot more resilient in our defence in the colonies and get a lot more aggressive. I don't like the Morocco is up arming. Got a feeling eventually they're going to say, you know what, Gibraltar is ours. And I'm going to say, you what? So you get up to this border and see what's going on. Okay, that's where there's a big French force. Eyeball to eyeball with the United Provinces. You men get over here. Just go around them. Boost the amount of ivory that's going for trade. So we've got military syllabus. Let's build the drill school. 4,000 is just enough for us to get the Leeward Islands built. We've got 1,000, so let's make sure you're all replenishing. Maybe I need to take some of my troops east, just to say no, 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 no. No, you don't. You men replenish and don't recruit anything, actually. We want more meat for our army that isn't militia. 774, though, is enough to not do anything. Actually, I know what it might be enough to do. Yes, we have, only have dirt roads. Good. But yeah, Guadalupe needs reinforcement. Let's just put a cavalry out with Tomas Rio. Let's go and attack. No, it's just auto that, and that's a... <laughs> okay, so, we're building the military, so we're building the barracks. Drill school. So Evora needs to find a... some good technology that takes three turns exactly. Let's 
probably going to be a naval tech. Flintlock cannon. Good, solid upgrade. One more turn, actually, college will be built. Okay, 5,700 for income is pretty good. It should start to stack up once we get more uh, bonuses for having for keeping our trade agreements running. I'd hope you guys would just pull back. Nope. You guys are going to resolutely be annoying. But at least this is now, we've got three potential armies we can grow. In fact, the army in the east might expand to go and attack Sardinia and Naples. I may keep the force in Gibraltar for garrison purposes. That's a potential option. Got a Spanish lone Spanish trade ship south. So I would like let's build a fourth rate and a fifth rate to expand our main navy. You men just go up and kill the remaining troops here. 1500, oh, is it 1250 for a trade port? Yes, it is. Good. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we don't, I don't, yeah, I just want this to be built in the Americas. Evora's got a college, and we finally got an upgraded ordnance factory so we can build 12 pounders. Good. One more turn till we get Spinning Jenny, which is great. Two more turns till we get Drill School. And then we can start researching fire by rank as a matter of national urgency. And actually, once we've researched Spinning Jenny, uh, Samanka can start to research more philosophical technologies to boost our wealth growth. But yeah, I would like to build up a small sm a squadron of ships to send south to capture the Floyd, bring it back into our service. Or back into our service, bring it into our service. And that would open up a second trade spot. And it would also be something I don't think the Spanish would be quite so easily able to recover from. Do you know it's raiding, but they are our allies. Not our allies. Trade partners. Good, so we've got Spinning Jenny. We're doing our duty, keeping the Barbarian Raiders under control. Upgrade or re uh, rebuild our ships. Can Salamanca stand an upgrade universe? Well, it only adds one. Minus four becomes minus five. It'll take a few turns to build. Four turns, so then it'll, the, the resistance to foreign occupation will already be down for. Caetano Prestes. Yeah. Well, just research, don't duel. Dueling's just never really worth it. So you've gone straight on to Flying Shuttle. Actually, I want you on with... Government by, government by consent. Division of Labour is probably the best one. Ooh, plus one happiness. And it gets us a bunch of really good technologies that we can build in the future. We need to keep upgrading Lisbon's infrastructure as well. Don't get drawn away and just think of Spain as our capital. Lisbon is our true capital. But I may buy. Fourth rate ship of the line, still. Good privateers. We can upgrade the vineyard. Yeah, so you men replenish. Hold position on top of the bridge. In time, said so you will expand to go attack Cagliari. 
bring this force, bring this area under our control. One more turn, is it? Yes, indeed. Basic roads built, fine workshops on Aviva's Cottage and the Royal Observatory in Madrid have also been built. We could, we really want another Royal Observatory here in Lisbon. Just to increase the amount of gentlemen that we can have in our empire. <laughs> yeah, Spain's going to invade us again, aren't they? If they are, then my army in Trinidad and Tobago will be pulled back to Antigua, where it can be bolstered with artillery and line infantry. Then we will go on a tear in the, Car in the Caribbean, take back Trinidad and Tobago, take the Windward Islands, take Santo Domingo, take Cuba, and then invade South America. Or well, maybe we might invade South America, but no, that would get us into a that gets into a significant, a reasonably significant land conflict with New Spain. So let's take the islands first boost our economy through trade then we will go south and attack the uh, we will attack Caracas which would be our new South American capital 6200 we research flintlock cannon a new military building has been built so if war I get straight on with fire by rank please get the Royal Observatory going Build the coaching in. So you men come down here. Let's take you. Let's take a good number of our troops with our commander. Ooh, grenadiers, engineers. What you could do with is two units of guns. But Madrid itself will gain two more units of line infantry as a garrison. Trade port in Guadeloupe. Yeah, we're going to start to squeeze our um, income. Yeah, once my next fourth rate's done, my two fourth rates and the fifth rate will go to the new trade zone, attack that Spanish ship, capture it, and then redistribute our uh, redistribute our ships amongst those two nodes to provide more ivory for the market. But for now, when you're when you when you get bringing in about four or five grand a ten consistently, you're in a pretty good spot. Five five six grand a ten plus I've got two universities researching for me. That's that's pretty good. Morocco is a natural expansion point for me, so are the so is the Barbary States, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm content just to keep Oran damaged and safe in the knowledge that you men cannot cross the strait and protect me from the south. Those are my two guns. Good. A new nation arises, Courland. They've successfully rebelled. Cannot bring you into the fold with the positive words of trade. Still, 5,900. Let's repair you. Let's upgrade the government chambers in Lisbon. 2,900. One more turn to the governor's barracks is built. Let's... Get another galleon recruited. And let's top that off with a fifth rate. Because yeah, my navy's it's a bit flimsy. Yeah, what did so what are the stats of the float? Oh it's damaged already. So let's just send. Realistically, I'll probably just send a small number of ships, but I like sending my four, I like sending a fourth rate plus friends. Get down to West Africa, capture that Spanish vessel, bring it home, 
we'll get it repaired and it will join our trade fleet. Okay, everything's looking good. I mean, at some point we're going to build an army here to push against Paris. That's definitely something we're going to do because screw France. At some point, Spain's going to invade my territory in, in the Americas, but it doesn't appear to want to yet. I don't like the Ottomans are growing their strength on the coast. It looks like the Mughals... Oh, the, actually, the, the Mughals have taken Karnataka to the south. Interesting. Peace with the Barbaris. <laughs> they're so fed up of us raiding them. Yes. Let's peace out with the Barbary states. Okay. There we go. So you men get some reinforcements recruited. Fleet arrives. So we are going to fight this manually, but it shouldn't take long. Because the ploy is already incredibly damaged. We just want to capture it, bring it into our service, send it back to Spain. And of course, the weather gauge is against us. Just deploy over here. Let them come at us. I, mean, I know you guys must be thinking, oh, why are you sending so many? Why are you sending a fourth rate to come do this? Well, you know... Better to be safe than sorry. Even if they've got 20 guns, so... My sixth rates currently outgun them. There is a storm brewing. And get the Floyd, send it back, get it repaired, send it back out to uh, the west coast of Africa. Then we get some more good resources to trade. So my fourth rate, Madre de Dior. Let's have a look. It's a good old, good old fifth rate, fourth rate, although I would prefer the, the red lines on the hull because it always kind of feels more Spanish to me. Yeah, they're attacking, taking to. Take our movement into account. In theory, we destroyed one of their guns with the first volley. Two guys are probably better off just commanding these ships individually. So, the sixth rates for Empire firing shots at them. To be honest, they're steamboating in. My sixth can fire chain. Yeah, I wanted my fourth rate just as a bit of a to provide that extra firepower, just in case. I'm going to fire it a little bit early. It's a longer range shot. Yeah, and because it's raining. Sound shenanigans. Chain shot away. turn because you've got the weather we turn the wrong way small target for you good sir A 
vast, ye land lovers. Four, three, put the hammer down. Two of their guns. Just firing at will. So all of her, all of her sails are exposed. Firing muskets. Hit. Ooh, if we knock out her main mast, the admiral's up there. but not enough. Reload. Broadside. Sick three. Put the hammer down. Unfurl, unfurl those sails, damn it. Killed three of my men. Now they're landing some hits. Oh, she's on fire. Board her. Board her, damn it. Before you get to before you actually there you go before when you're boarding ships but until you're actually side by side you still do get your broadside controls which is kind of perfect actually Orders, Capitan. Kruidberg TB you yeah it's, you're a bit stronger so it's, you fold you guys back for now, two fifth rates. I don't like fighting fair. Well, I don't want to send all of my ships down there. So let's keep San Antonio in port. Get Mr. Sousa embarked on the fifth rate. Attack Cagliari. Yeah, let's siege them for a bit. Because they've got nasty mortars. Let's draw them out. Let's draw them out to have to attack us. Five turns till we get fire by rank. Good, everything's, everything's looking pretty good. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Portugal. Looks like we should be able to do some more damage in Europe and also expand and take Martinique and do some good stuff um, here in the Caribbean. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers, everyone.